Hello, beautiful people and fellow whiners. And welcome to another episode of A Little Something, the number two. Wine about with your hostesses, Shamal Camille. And Ta'e Michelle. Where sips get real and we wine as we wine, y'all. It is this year, first Wednesday of November. We are coming to the end of 2023. Thank you. Hallelujah. Um, and we just, you know, it's just us wine. We're gonna wine for a second. Warning, we're gonna wine about the internet. Just that's just where we at. We we were talking a little bit. That's how ghetto it is, period. We're gonna talk about listen, they say adulting is ghetto. The internet is I ghetto don't earth. <laughs> I'm I'm creating a word. Ghetto earth. I hope y'all are listening. If you're listening, come on over to YouTube. Find us at ALS. The number two, WA is our at, I believe. <laughs> Listen, this acronym. On um, that thing on YouTube, the platform, come come along with us. Grab a glass, sit down. If this is, you know, lunch for you, you can still have a glass of wine. It's not going to kill you. Um, if you don't drink, grab some Pinot de Agua. Join us on the couch. Don't drink and drive. That's all we ask. Thank you. Period. Hey, y'all. I don't have a lot to say. So just jump right into this popping crazy experience. It has been a week for me. I will not be drinking because those of you who have been following us regularly, you know that I have entered back into my fitness program. So the only time that I will be partaking in of the wineries is on our wine out that happens on YouTube and Instagram live on the last Saturday of every month at 3 p.m. ish. Um, So you can catch me and catch us and I don't know, maybe we'll have some friends this time. Um, But it won't be the last, it won't be the last Saturday in November. It's like the third, it's the 18th. Cause it's, yeah, because you know, Thanksgiving and the whole night holidays and all of that good stuff. So anyway, catch us then. Wanna keep up? If that was too much for you to remember, just like and follow. You'll get all the notifications, turn that notification bell on, and we'll go from there. Um so let's jump right into this popping grapes experience. Uh, Sissy, let me know what you are zinking today. So we are in our red November, for those who don't know. So it's all red all the time. We grin and bear it. Um, all my red wines are coming from Italy. Italia, I am here for you. This is a 2019 Chianti by... Somebody. Maiolo. Y'all in this script, man. Tomaiolo Reserva, I think. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, again, it's from Italy. I don't really know what to expect. I'm, I don't think I've ever had a Chianti, or maybe I had one like two years ago. I don't know. I'm about to say, I thought we had one before. I think you've had a Chianti before. It's been a while. But... It's been a long, 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 long time. Yeah. Okay. It smells heavy. Heavy, heavy, you guys are laughing on me. Um, I will be partaking at the wine out. This here uh, layer cake, it says richly layered wines from the best regions on earth. This is a South Australian uh, Shiraz. And that's what I got. And there you have it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So being as though we are closing out the end of this year, this is our sister's wine. So ladies, come on, here we go. Gentlemen, you ain't got to leave. You can stay in the room. But just understand that this conversation is going to be feminine based. Um, Very much so. Just because that's what's happening. And that's we we are women to the if you didn't know, if it was a question. Um hundred percent biological, natural, natural, real, the whole nine yards. Authentic you know, and genuine, yes. Came with the uterus. 
fallopian tubes, menstruates, cervix, all of them. Develop, you know, breastfed at least for a week or two. You know, that woman. Um, yeah, that's whose we is. So that's, we're going to have a woman type conversation. Um, and we're going to have this because, ladies, we have been seeing some things from us on this year of internet of the world that is absolutely ridiculous nonsense. And we want to talk to us for a minute because I feel like sometimes we need to check us. Like with love, all that, it might get a little intense. You might not like it, but no, we say that with all the love and straightforwardness in the world. Take the meat off the bone, leave the rest alone, okay? Um, for this conversation. I also want to take this moment to say, if this does not apply to you, because I want us to, what I need the world to understand, and I need to make this Everything clear, yeah. don't apply to everybody. Everything does not, is not applicable. Y'all, please. I'm so tired in the world as a whole, male and female. Uh, oh, so women want this? Oh, well, because men do this. Oh, because women do this. Oh, because let me tell you what. If you get 20 people in a room, 20 women in a room, you may see the they are all not going to agree on something. Get 20 chicks in a room and ask them what they want to eat. First of all, half, okay, we ain't going to know. Half of them aren't going to know. So the other half will tell you what they don't want to eat. I won't even give a percentage. It doesn't, percentage don't even matter. Let me tell you the responses you're going, you're going to get from these 20. I don't know. It don't something, matter. It don't matter. Something quick. Something that really, I want seafood with the this, with the this, with the this, with the this, with the this. Something sweet. Something that tastes good. I don't care what it is as long as it comes from insert place here. As long I don't as it care comes. what it is as long as it's not pork. Da, 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 da. You know, you're not going to get, I'm not hungry. Whatever you I'm get okay. is fine. Whatever you I get had, is fine. Some of us is going to say, well, I had pizza yesterday, so... What the figure out what, what you already ate to give a get, get some variety in your diet. Yeah, we are not a mono. Can we please understand that we are not monolithic? We are not monolithic. Like, and fellas, on behalf of women, I know she said the same for you, and it's not, but I want to say this on behalf for you and ladies. I need us to keep reminding we are not all the same. I literally saw something, and this dude was like, this one chick, this this guy, it was a guy's video, and he was like, yo, I'm in the gym. He was literally on the treadmill. It's, it's women, do I talk to them? Do I not talk to them? Because a lot of women are like, leave me alone, but you know. And this dude was like, in the comments, like, see like chicks in the video, or chicks will tell you to leave them alone in the gym, but then you have chicks that'll tell you to approach them in the gym. Which one is it? It's both. It's both, and sometimes it might even depend on the day. It depends on the day. It depends on the woman. It depends on if this woman finds you attractive. There are it depends on the time of the month because her hormones might be raging when she like, oh yeah, gotta get some. Or they could be on sleep night night mode or disappearance with she don't feel nothing. <laughs> it depends. She could have just had an argument with her mama and you approaching her. Or she could have just turned down 50 other niggas that tried to talk to her and she just don't want to. Or she could be like, you know what? I'm game. I'm ready. Let's go. You don't know. And you're not going to know unless you try your hand. And the truth of the matter is, we are all not the same. Y'all, y'all have been, if you have been with us since the days, since we popped this thing off on Cinco de Mayo of 2021, then y'all know we are not the same. We ain't the same. We are not the same mm -mm. at all. That's mm -mm. not what we are. That we are the same. Nope. We are not. We are not. Nope. And we nope. find it. <laughs> you nope. have seen our sisters. We and are not if you've seen same. them and heard our conversations, I it's can leave clear. that uh, wine out up top. Listen. You will understand how we are not the same. <laughs> We're not the same. You literally have four men on, women on the couch. And when the question of... um. Because about like, communication. About communication. No, no, it wasn't a communication. It was the question about would you? I just remember Eureka being like, "It's my dick, and I need it now." Like, yeah. Was, or giving instructions, and uh, and Isha was like, 
Oh no, I'm gonna tell you because I don't <laughs> want you guess. Enrico was verbal, Isha was verbal. We were like, I think everybody is. And you were like, no, I'm not no, gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, but I was for you. <laughs> then the other question was like, would you let your significant other have relations with somebody else if you know you what? had a situation or what have you? And we were literally split because two of us said yes and the other two said absolutely no. We are not the same and we are sisters, y'all. We are here with it. So you get a bunch of random chicks that don't even know each other and you think they all won't agree on one thing? Come on. Girl. And then Come if you start talking about cultural backgrounds and how nice. Like, all we saying. <laughs> Try your hand and learn how to deal with rejection earlier. Because it's not even necessarily rejection. It's just a letdown. And that's just for that one instance. But the big point here is like, y'all really have to take, we got to start taking people as individuals. Period. Man, sis. And I know this was supposed to be sis last month. Maybe you should have been for the culture. Cause, but ladies, and to that point, so let me turn it back to the ladies. Ladies, we have to take every man for who he is standing in front of you. And I'm saying this as somebody who has unfortunately in trying to connect with people and, and organically expand our network online, found way too many red pill manosphere. I did not know what Andrew Tate looked like until now. The first time I heard his name was when Trey Ooh. was on the podcast. I'm gonna get there. Was when Trey was on the podcast, like that one. And he, we were talking about uh, men in regret, I think, or being a father, one of those. Um, and yeah, it was being a father, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I think it was him in Portland. I don't know, y'all, why don't with the guys? We do it a lot, it's up here. Just scroll, All night. just scroll through the pod, through the playlist. But he has said something about, excuse me, Andrew Tate. Who he is is one of those red pill podcasters who literally is like women. Not even women are only good for sex because he said in the whole thing that he doesn't even like sex. He uses sex to exploit and control women. Basically, like he's one of those people. And we acknowledge that they exist. We also acknowledge that's not everybody. And ladies, we need to acknowledge that that's not everyone. Yes, protect yourself from those predators, but understand that that's not everybody. Get your discernment up <laughs> to know who you're talking to across from you. Yeah, let's do that. So, like, okay. All right, that's how tired of the internet I am. I, I, and I know y'all been seeing it too. And by the time y'all see this, it'll probably be old. Hopefully, it's like old news. I mean, it's kind of old. Now, been like what two weeks ago this happened? Last week, two weeks? Nah, two weeks. the list just can't. I just thought it's oh, the list. I thought about you were talking about what inspired the list. <laughs> no, what? Oh, we'll talk. I thought you were talking about that, but I think oh, that person's been beaten. Is that what that came from? Yeah. Like that happened, and then I think they created this list. That type of oh, let me begin. Well, now, that makes sense, right? That's, and you know what? I thought I was like, did somebody watch that girl video? And yes. then a whole bunch of them got together, and I laughed yes. about it because that was literally my thought process. But I was like, nah, and I just kept right on going. Yep. So this, look, let me tell y'all about this here list. <laughs> Does we don't not all agree with it. We don't all agree. Real, real people, like real people, don't all agree with it. One, because nine times out of ten, and the way that the world is built up right now, most restaurants are chained. Yeah. So that just cut your list. Yeah. Cut out your list. That's why. Two, if we stick to what the topic is of a first date, meaning I don't know you, you don't know me, you try and be safe, he try and be safe. These are some normal places. They got cameras, they got lights. Hello. Mm. Uh, they got cameras, they got lights. It's something, it's usually someplace neutral, you know? It, it's easy, it's no pressure. It's nothing heavy, especially on a first date. It's not even, it's not heavy on your stomach. It's not heavy on your pockets. It's not heavy at all. It's a like, 
a first date is an introduction. What I'm not giving you, even if I was a millionaire, is a thousand dollar introduction. You could kick rocks. Because I don't even know if you worth that thousand dollars to begin with. Because how many times, both, both men and women, have we all gone on our first date and realized that would be the last, because this was the waste of my gap time. Okay? So let's not. And if that's going to be the case, let's keep, let's kiss this. Let's keep it simple, stupid. And yes, I'm calling y'all stupid, slow to learn. That's what that means. And if y'all go by this list, y'all going to prove how slow. Can I? Okay, you gonna learn. <laughs> Can we go through the list? Because I, I really, I need to go through it. And this is, because I saw the list. The man on the couch sent me this list. And I had to look because I was like, okay. So number one, here's a list of places women, let me say this as well. Who made this? I can't, I don't know who, a group of women on Facebook created a list of places men should not take a woman to on a first date. Here, let me, let me tell y'all where we stop. Lady. Stop speaking for everybody. You don't speak for me. This list, this, this list does not represent me. What I need us to do, and we have said this, I know that she has said this before because we had a whole thing about how much she missed Miss Tae hate generalizations, and so do I. If you are going to generalize, I need y'all to put a caveat. Most women, a lot of women, some women, stuck up women, ghetto women, ratchet women, women with two parents, women in a certain tax bracket, Women who make over 60000 But please stop saying women because this thing here starts with, here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me, reached out to me to help on my list. This is not a place where women absolutely refuse to go because I looked at the first five and I said, well, three of those I'll go to. So please stop. You do not speak for everybody. I don't care. And we say all the time, we do not speak for women in general. We, the men that we get on the couch do not speak for all dudes. If you see yourself reflected in, in something that one of the guys say or that one of us says, wonderful. But really, we will never purport ourselves or to even claim that we speak for women because we're not even the same woman. We're not even the same type of woman in a lot of stuff. We're not. So you can't speak for women if well, how many women were there? Were there only single mothers who made this list? Were there only were there only women? five? Were there only five? Were there only divorced women? So like five divorced women got together? Seven chicks going through a separation just got together? Five women who are how, these, how old are these women? How, I was about to say five women in their 50s, three women in their 20s, and two women in their 30s. Like, who are these women? Women who are considered pretty girls, women who are considered ugly girls. There's too much variety to just say women. It, women. Yeah, don't don't reduce this to women. But okay, let's let's start. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, and Chipotle. No, no, no we're gonna go one by one. We're gonna go one by oh, one. Well, let's do it. And we're going to say, we're going to vote right now, y'all, on this list. We're going to vote on this and list. We talk, and we can't, please keep in mind, we are literally talking about us and first date. We're talking about our personal selves, yes, us and first date. So, Cheesecake Factory, yes or no? I'm going to say yes. You can take me. Yes. I'm good with that. Apple they got meat. variety, okay? They, they got a, lot, a whole bunch. <laughs> they That's made eight pages. I might take a while, but hopefully that actually might spark some conversation and we can laugh about it. We you might be able to share a couple of dishes. Like, what's up? Like, you like this? I like that? We can talk about likes and dislikes and see where the conversation goes. So for me, that's a yes, okay? That's a yes for me. You can't tell me you can't find something on a cheesecake menu, factory menu. Period. It's too big. It's too big. Period. Okay. Number two, Applebee's. That's going to be a no for me because I don't like Applebee's. That's going to be a no for me because that's where me and all my homies used to go. And like, nah, like me and my best friend used to go do the late night appetizers. So that doesn't give me like first day vibes. It gives me like, yo, we hanging out, we chilling, we friends. You my homie. You my homie. It gives homie vibes. So I'm going to say no. So yeah, I, I just don't like Applebee's. I just, it's just not good to me. I'm so, silly. No, 
Same it's reason. Because I don't like chilies. I don't like chilies. I don't like chilies. So I don't like South Southwestern food, Tex Mex, not really my thing. Chipotle, absolutely not. For a first date, I don't like Chipotle. I got a caveat. Nope. I can do Chipotle if we like getting it to go and we going somewhere, like if we going to the park or like, you know what I'm saying? We want to sit down at a table, like, but me actually sitting in Chipotle and eating on for a first date, probably not. I don't like Chipotle. The Funny way she feels about Applebee's is how I feel about Chipotle. Just I don't do it. Funny fact, Chipotle is when the husband and I had lunch before we got married at the club. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing Chipotle. All right. Number five. Day either, so. <laughs> Number five, Olive Garden. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I'll say yes for a first day because I can find something. I'm not a huge Ita- pasta, Italian dish person. So that wouldn't be a first choice of mine, but I wouldn't fully be against it. I'll say this. If I had my choice, I would rather go to Carrabba's than Olive Garden because it's a little more on the authentic Italian side. But I, I could deal with Olive Garden. Like, I don't have an issue if you want to take me to Olive Garden. Yeah, I don't, I don't have an issue. I would let him know, like, that's not one of my favorite places to go. That's where, you know, advocating for yourself comes in. But if it's like, this is the central place, both of us can meet, we can get there and it's like, circumstantial wise like okay cool i can deal with it and you know that's just that but i mean now we're like that's but first choice date it's gonna be enough the movies yes take me to the movies in fact it better be a scary movie okay because i like horror pictures let's go and if, matter of fact you take me to the movies and you won't see some sit some some soft mushy stuff i'm probably gonna look at you sideways because i want to see something that's gonna scare me or something blow up i'm here i'm all here for the blow up in the action however a first date no i'm gonna tell y'all me with movies on first dates i want to take the first date to get to know you and sitting with you side by side in a two a two to three hour movie because people cannot make an hour and a half like they used to good lord Sitting with you for two and a half hours in silence is not going to do anything for me. Oh, I'm I talk in the movies. In the movies oh, so. Like, um, see, see, and this is where two different women. I do talk. I be talking to the movie. I am not like all the time loud, but I do be talking and then or talking to that person like, yo, you see this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like little stuff, stuff like that, but we can kind of, I can get your vibe. Like, okay, we can do something as simple as go to the movies together. So, yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that for first date now. However, I don't feel like that should be the only thing you do. Like, I feel like if if that's like, oh, we went to the movies and then, I don't know, like, hit up something else that's on this list, a uh, Starbucks. Cool. Because now we actually have something to talk about to, you know, to, to increase that uh, engagement. Mm-hmm. That engagement, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. take me to movies though. Um, your house, no, no. That, now that one I agree with him absolutely. I'm not coming to your house for my first day. That's a safety issue, in, in addition to a lot of other things. That's a safety concern. I'm not doing it. Not if that's the intention. Now let me say this: if for me, if our if our first date goes really well, like let's say we were like, the other part is what time of day are y'all dating? Because going on a date at Six to go to a movie and going on like a brunch date or like we're gonna go do top golf at 12 is a little different. Now I will say to that point, if we go do like top golf, let me go get something to eat, let me go like walk a mall, hang out, we talk in five. I have a pretty good spirit of discernment. Most Texans have all been wonderful. <laughs> Inside joke, y'all. But um, so I might, I may. Also, because this area has a lot of people that have roommates, so that can be a pro or con to it as well. Um, perhaps, if if it survives. But on a first date initially, no. Yeah, it's a no for me. Why do I need to go to your house? So it's that safe. one, girlies, I agree with you on. Who yeah, knows? we agree with you. We agree with you largely, absolutely. Any fast food chain, first of all, majority of the shit on this list is a fast food chain. So I feel like that was redundant. I get what y'all saying. I think they're talking about like McDonald's, Burger King. Okay, like, come on. That's why I said 
who but made this mess? But to your point, for a teenager, I can't understand them saying, no, you ain't going to take me to no fast food chain, but at the same time, where you going? You ain't got no job. Well, they said women. I'm going to assume they're talking adults. But I like can't assume said, because this world is stupid. They could, they might consider 16. Some states consider a woman 16, girl. For some, for sense, we're going to act like people have sense. I, my thing with fast food is this. I guess, because Chipotle is fast food. I will say this. If it's Chick-fil-A and we are going somewhere, I don't have an issue. Okay, like, let's go. Let's about, get it. Give me that. Give me that eight piece with the barbecue and the lemonade or the sweet tea. Like, yes, I love it. like you said about Chipotle, that's what I would do there. Now, and I will be very clear, the only acceptable fast food spot is Chick-fil-A. That's it. That's it. I don't want nothing else. I'll take that back if you live in Houston. And you want to take me to a Whataburger, and that's because I'm from New York. We don't really get Whataburgers a whole lot. So, dude, I went down to Texas and Houston, and this dude was like, hey, you want to go to the Whataburger? Let's go. I have an addiction to Whataburger, okay? So, yeah. But can I just say for a real quick, as an aside, that's another thing that that's not being taken into account. What's novel to, what may be common to somebody, maybe novel to somebody else. I mean, mm-hmm. and it's also a matter of, I think, People are judging too much on a day on what they are projecting in a lot of ways. Oh, he took me to a Michelin five star. He much really liked me. Girl, no, no, he has a million dollars. What is that really to him? That was nothing to him. And then you got the dumbest little girl. He took me to that girl. You know, he had a million dollars. So that's enough for him. Yeah, it's not for him. But what? What? Why are you placing value in that? That's my bigger thing. Why yeah. are we placing our We're value? Right. Why? Why? What? What are we? What are we holding this value? What is the equivalent to this? Like, what's the purpose? What's the value of this list? Like, what? You get what I'm saying? Like, what's? What? What are we weighing? Like, what? What? Is, what outcome are you looking to get? from this because the dude the same dude who will take you to this five star McCormick and Schmidt or uh, what is it Ruth Chris restaurant will still dog you like the nigga that's going to take you to McDonald's yeah it's not about if y'all are dating Wallace and just say that but then but then don't be mad because you basically put a price tag on yourself like you that's what you did. My thing, and the reason I bring that up is because I'm thinking of like, if I sold, if I went to Houston and I was like geeked on a Whataburger and this dude might be like, oh, she, he won't even look, oh, she cheap and easy. Try me. And you will find that I'm not. I just really like Whataburger. <laughs> they like, Why? I really like the cheap Whataburger because I don't get that in New York. So yes, I'm geeked and gas. Because I, I that's won't. like churches for some people. I personally don't like churches. I like churches, but it's that's not a, not a thing for me. But for a lot of people in my family, when we go down south, oh my God, they would kill to go to churches. I, I can live without. Um, but again, that's preference. But let's keep going. Wayne stop. Yes. Give me lemon. Wait, pepper Buffalo wings. Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, wings. Buffalo. And nachos. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me some nachos and a lemon drop martini. I'm trying to. We can talk. We let's talk about it. And then usually see what people don't understand, like the atmosphere of Buffalo Wild Wings. I say it because the husband and I we will go there to escape the children, but you know, that's a whole nother thing. Um that sometimes on like one of the several screens that has several things playing, it's like a bloopers channel or something. So we always find ourselves watching the sports stuff, but looking at like the bloopers channel and we'd be like, oh, so it, it's another conversation piece. Like you can have a lot of conversation. Like to me, this Ted lets me know y'all don't have no personality and y'all don't have to talk to people. I'm gonna say no for Buffalo Wild Wings. And because I just, I don't really like the wings. I've had bigger wings. Their wings are not that great to me. And also, People do don't know. I can't do all this lemon pepper, hot pepper, super, super barbecue, chipotle. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm allergic to a lot of that crap. So like, I need my wings plain. I can get plain wings, better plain wings somewhere else. If I were really into sauces and the salsa and all of, 
Perhaps, but I'm not. So no, don't do that. I get it. I get it. <laughs> now, wing stop. Wing yes. Because I want my lemon pepper wings and my cheese fried. Again, I'm a fat girl. I like potatoes. So, and I we like... Are not, I, we are not eating in Wingstop. Wingstop is like fast food in Chicago. Is it a place? Can you sit? No, because some of them have the chairs inside. Like the little... That's how you know I don't pay attention. Like, Wingstop is to go. That's that's another one. You grab your stuff, you go to an alternate location, and else. you talk. Yes. Like... Yes. Now, Agreed. if we're talking, oh, go on the first day, and we're we going to sit in Wingstop, unless we go into the movies that's like right next door, and we don't want to sit in the car, which I can understand. Uh, you know, like it's something like that. Or like it's Top Golf. We don't really want to eat Top Golf food because some Top Golf, some are better than others. Um, so this one might not be the best. we going to go over here to Wayne Stop before our time. Like it got to be something like that. Where, like it's situational. But if you just say, okay, we just going to Wayne Stop, sit down and talk on our first date. No, we not. You can take me to Starbucks. We can do that. So next we have Red Lobster. No. I don't really care for it. Beyonce can have Red Lobster. I've been to Red Lobster one time and it wasn't for a first date, but I went with a friend and I wasn't moved. I expected so much more. That's what I'll say. First of all, all their stuff is artificial except for the lobster. So that in itself is enough. Them damn biscuits ain't good enough for me to keep going back. I don't like biscuits. I will take the biscuit. I will take the bread from Golden Corral and Texas Row House before I take that. So what we're not going to do is them cheese butter biscuits. Y'all keep that trash and move on. Red Lobster is a no. Well, thank you I, for mentioning Golden Corral because that brings us to a buffet. Is our all next you can thing. eat now? This is the thing. <laughs> I don't have an issue with a buffet. Not mad. I at don't it. have an issue with a buffet for a first date. I don't. But please understand, you better not judge me because I'm eat. Now this other part, I don't eat like buffet portions. <laughs> I'm a nibbler. <laughs> My thing with a buffet is this. I really want to... So you might not be getting the most bang for your buck. <laughs> my, well, my thing with a buffet is this. I have never really even considered it so they put it on this list, but I'm here for it because I like to eat and I like to talk and I feel like good food. This will let me know if I like your company or not because we got nowhere to go. So if it's one of those moments where like we look up and yo, we've been in this buffet for three hours because we've been back and forth getting food and having good conversation, I might be like, my God. My God! But if it's like, like now, we can go to the gym and work right. this burger. But if it's just one of those, I'm in the middle of my first place, and I don't get big mega sizes either because I go. I'm a I'm a frequenter. I get up and down. If I'm in the middle of my first place and I'm like, it's time to go, then this isn't. This isn't. It's this isn't. It's not working. It's not working. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's the buffet. I hop. Yes. Let's do this. I hop or Denny's because that's 13 and 14. Okay. I don't like Denny's. I'm Denny's not a Denny's fan. It's nasty. <laughs> Just be honest. They should really close. But I don't um, really... But no, I like I like brunch. So that's what I was thinking. I give was me just breakfast thinking. in the middle of the day. I can go for some pancakes. Not I don't eat pancakes, it's nasty. I can go for some bacon, some sausage, some egg, and some grits. Yes. I can use an omelet. I can use an omelet. I can eat breakfast at any time. So I'm yes, say if this we though, go to IHOP together, I'm going to say this though. IHOP to me is a complimentary. Certain things on this list, you got to be doing something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying it's not enough. IHOP on its own is not enough. If you tell me we're going to do IHOP and then go mini golf, great. We're going to do IHOP and then go to like the matinee cool beans my guy i'm really not a movie person but you know i can see that but just be like yo meet me at the ihop because again how old great, are you it's great company. it's great friend some of these things seem friend unless we're doing something else that extends it beyond okay let's keep going jim no nope 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 
Because when I go to the gym, I'm focused on my workout. The whole, this is, let me take a moment. What are y'all looking for? Like, what are you looking to do other than spend this man's money? Because I'm trying to build it. On my first date with somebody, I'm trying to build a connection. I'm trying to figure out who you are. I'm trying to fill you out. I'm trying to see if we vibe. And I can't do that in some of these atmospheres. Like, if we're at the gym, my mind is focused on the gym. It's focused on working out. I'm not trying to have a whole conversation with you on a treadmill. Oh, yeah, I'm probably about to die on the treadmill if you put it that way. But, um, <laughs> um, strictly because you're saying first date, it's enough. That's what I'm That's saying. First date. Please understand, I'm not saying that you can't use gym as a date because the husband and I use the gym as dates. Um, and I hate the gym, but. For me, knowing that that was something that he truly enjoyed, and I just wanted to spend time with him. Okay. I wanted to spend time with him since he was taking a true interest in me and the things that I was doing. So it was something else there. Um, so I went. Uh, and I'm a bit, a little bit of a challenge sometimes. So sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm, I, I can be strong. I mean, and what harm can truly come from going like, you know, forever, okay, you get a little sweat or you don't. If you don't, guess what? You ain't changed nothing. It's fine. If you do, who you burn some extra calories, like whatever. Um, but if both of y'all, but this is my thing. If both of y'all are gym rats and that's y'all thing, go for it. That yeah. could be a cool ass first date for those who are into that. Like, and that's why I'm like, I can't fully count the gym out. For me, yes, I can. But that's what I'm saying. I'm as not speaking for anybody thing. else. For me, absolutely. For, for if for like gym rats, gym heads, or people like, oh yeah, I go to gym right there. Oh, okay, me too. We should go to the gym together. Okay, cool. That might be a first date for them because that might be a place where they feel comfortable. And I think that's ultimately what the, what we're saying. Like you gotta feel com feel comfortable in whatever the situation. Because first dates in itself are already or can be awkward. So if the environment around you is something that provides some comfort, which a lot of these places do, then why not go for it? Like, don't be such a proof where, you know, you can't go to, you can't meet somebody at the bowling alley. Listen, it's a I nice bowling alley. But I'm going. It's some nice bowling alleys. Let me tell you that. I found that okay. out. I can't bowl a lick. Y'all can do some, if the vibe is right, you can do some nice flirting, get some nice drinks. The bowling alley is the place to be. So shut up. Y'all grow. Anyway, but like I was, I, um, I watched somebody who was going through the list and the dude was like, uh, and it's the, I agree with everything he said except for this in reference to this list. Don't don't be taking me to church on the first date. Don't be pushing your religion on me. We'll post. I would hope that if y'all are going to church on the first date, it's some it's a religion that y'all share. Period. And that was that was my issue. I said no way. I would assume that. Why that is it a shoving? <laughs> the, why yeah. is it if it's hey, I'm going to church. You want to go to church? Yeah, we can go together. Well, just why can't that be a first date? I agree. So just real quick, in the interest of time, I'm going to run through the, the last of these. So we got at the six, well, 16 was church. Then we had Starbucks, coffee dates, which synonymous, ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House sports events. I'm going to just address the ones I don't agree with. Let me just... Okay. Let me, and the then one. I'll go. And then we're going to wrap this up, y'all. So what I don't agree with, Starbucks. I'm going to go to Starbucks because Same. I'm a simple chick. Coffee dates. I, I want a new cup. Coffee. So anytime I go to Starbucks to see if they got new colors, I'm for it. Coffee dates. I don't drink coffee, but if we're going to get tea, I'm here for it. I'm with you. I'm here. Ice cream dates. Is it the middle of the summer? Because it could get hot. We could do that. 
Again, though, that can't be the whole day. To me, an ice cream date, we got to do something else. There was actually a uh, mini go- The time, yes, we got to do something else, but the time of year is where you lost me. I like ice cream the most when it's cold outside. It's weird, but. I like ice cream when it's cold when I'm in my house. But if we're talking a first date, then you're not in my house. So no. <laughs> I, I want, I, 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 if you be like, hey, let's meet up. Like, I'm interested in you. Um, I know you said you like ice cream. Let's do an ice cream date. Okay. I, yeah, and yeah. it might be the childishness in me, but I, I, I can do an ice cream date. Family function. Yeah, ice cream is expensive. It is. It can be. <laughs> Cold stone. <laughs> it's not cheap. I can put um, it chop in the chair. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Family functions. I agree. No, I agree. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. That's a no. Movie night, Netflix, Hulu, etc. No, because no. it requires being in your house. We already established around number seven. That's a no go. So no. A lot of this is rep- it's repetition. That's how I know y'all ran out of ideas. But Somewhere that requires a long drive. I agree. A lot for why I agree. We're not going to your house. Safety. Safety and where. At that, where are we going? Because I'm a I'm a car sleeper, and I feel about ask the husband. But that's what I'm saying. As far as safety, this is your first date, and you know you're a car sleeper, so, and you know you don't really know the person you in the car with. That's not gonna happen. Don't do that. Um, bowling. I don't have an issue with bowling. Me neither. I've seen some really nice bowling alleys. They have some adult only. Like I don't I don't get the issue Ooh. with bowling. What's wrong with bowling? Um, nightclubs. I agree. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm going to say this. Don't do that for me. This is, again, let us remind you, this is personal. You may have someone the same way that y'all gym rats, y'all both might both be club heads and want to get to, because y'all like to dance and then go. And I, but me personally, no. I'm a full dance head. Uh, you know how we used to get down in the club. But again, if y'all However, are both, if Which y'all are both club say we're going on a date to the club. No, we're not. Not on first date. No, we're not. I agree. I'm just saying the same way that you made the caveat to there are people I, like I, the I gym. Right. I just don't understand that caveat. <laughs> I'm, just because it doesn't apply to me doesn't mean I can't be empathetic or aware that it may be somebody else. There are I people. I can't be empathetic to just that one. <laughs> I get that. I understand that there are people who just like attention. There are people who are in, y'all gave me for this, but say this, whatever, big Leo energy of, I got to flunt, I got to stunt, I got to do all. There are them. There are also the people like their ba- their mother who just got to be seen, got to be seen, got to be seen. And guys who are like, oh, I just want to show you off and show you. If y'all are those people, then that might work for you. For me and my house, that's a no. I don't I- how that works with you in a nightclub? <laughs> it's too many people, and nobody. It's, it's ego that. because it's ego. It's ego. It would be ego. That that That's might why work I say it. I don't know. My my brain is like do not compute for for nightclub. Um, I mean, don't do that for me. But I I can see certain people. Hookah bar. I want to say no. Just I just not because of the atmosphere more than anything. Honestly, yeah. Just, I don't. So, because most hookah bars are real chill, like at least the ones that I've been to, they're real chill. They some they they've had DJs. You know, you can dance. I don't see that as a get to know you talking, right? Necessarily environment. I have been to some that are more restaurant style versus club style hookah bars. So there's a variation in that. However, I just I don't want that to be our first necessarily date like we might be like oh we're gonna do a cute little meet up you know what i'm saying like oh let's just meet up hang out but like a first official romantic date that's that's gonna be enough a bar for just drinks i could do that if it's a happy hour i mean if i could do see this the thing if you could do starbucks why you can't do a bar for just drinks I will say the drinks are more expensive than what you probably gonna get at Starbucks once you get to add this stuff up, potentially. 
I'm outside. Depends, because Starbucks. Yeah, I get that. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence with that one. Waffle House. I ain't never been to a Waffle House. So if you want to take me to a Waffle House, let go. Let go. Let go. Oh, let go. Waffle House. No. So if somebody want to take me to the daggone Waffle House. Let go, my guy. Let go. Oh, yes, yeah, enough for me. I've been to plenty. That's fair. I never been. So I'm all for I don't like waffles either. So there's that. Like when I go, I always get the same thing. And I'm where I'm like, I get the nostalgia behind Waffle House and all of that. And I understand Waffle House and I appreciate it for what it is. Like their grits is too much butter. I can't eat a lot of butter. It makes me sick. Like it's a whole bunch of things why Waffle House is a no for me. Um, in reference to just being what my preference in eat what I'm eating. Um and Waffle House is always ghetto. So <laughs> always. And, been, and the last one was for uh sports events. Yes go. That's a date. That's a date. That's not for me, no. That's a date for me. Especially if we were in for the same team or our teams playing against each other. Oh let's go. I'm not that invested in sports. So no. No. I'm only invested in the Steelers. <laughs> I'm not invested in I'm not invested. Um, I'll say this. I will go to a sports event if you were gonna take me to a Raiders game, and that's just because I like the Raiders. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it has to be that type of thing. Like I'm not just gonna randomly go to a W no shade to a WNBA, like, oh yeah, I got these tickets, you wanna go. I mean Okay, but that's not what I would consider a date. That's more of a, oh, we just, we hung out. That's not a romantic introduction first date. I'm not that, no. Unless it's like, oh, the Raiders playing the Steelers. I know you're a Steelers fan. Let's go to Pennsylvania and watch them play each other. Oh, bet. Then we can take the trip. But I'm turning on my location. I'm sending some other people. I'm probably going to tell my daddy, who's a diehard Steelers fan, who has no problem getting in the car driving at any point. In fact, I might ride with my parents and meet you up there. And then we can have, like, it's a whole different type of situation there. But, you know, but that's just that's just for the Steelers, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that, like, I don't know. Like, say it was like the Olympics. First date at the Olympics. Oh, no. I am skating. Okay. Just because it's the fucking Olympics. I will say I went to Olympics on our first date. That might be cool and cute. Like, we'll see. Um, I will say this, though. I don't think that should be the only thing. I think there should be something either before or after. Because I feel like there has to be some point of conversation time some point of connection, rather is reflecting, you know, or on what happened and your intake as a start of conversation. That's just how I feel. Y'all know we said we were sick of the internet and we didn't get to a whole bunch of subjects. Well, but this is this, this. Gonna, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah, this is kind of turned into like, ladies, what do you want on your first date? This has pretty much become like a first date conversation. Yeah. And as ladies, as ladies, we need to have this, we need to know who you are and what you want for your first date. And I'm create not, standards. your standards i'm not knocking the women that made this list really if that's, who, if that's who you are then that's who you are i'm not gonna tell you who to be and who not to be i will tell you be aware of the men that you may or may not attract that's that's what i'm gonna say to you because i'm not gonna guilt and shame anybody into what their personal choices and decisions are because men do that to women all the time women do that to women all the time Men do that to other men. We see it all the time on the internet where everybody, somebody's trying to shame you for your thoughts, choices, whatever. I'm not about to do this. What I am going to say, though, is be realistic. So if y'all are looking for the dude to take you to whatever non-chain $500 a plate situation, and that's what you're judging him on, then don't necessarily be upset with the guy that you have sitting across from you because you're assuming him dropping that money means, oh my God, he cares. And it really may just be him, like many of these red pill manosphere's 
who is looking at you like, oh, if I drop 500, you're just going to drop it. You're going to spread your legs. So here you go. Now what? Like, so you're assuming that you're going to be respected or this man respects you because of the amount of money he dropped on you. And that may not be, that may not be the case. That's, that's only going to be my warning. Ladies who think that way, feel this way, the whole, don't take me to cheesecake. You must take me something that's this much of a plate. I'm not paying half. I'm only doing this. Don't take me to Starbucks. Coffee dates are a no. All of the no, because I'm going to get dressed. And you, if that's who you are, be who you are. Just know who you may, I won't even say attract, but completely. But yes, know who you may attract and know what you may be entertaining. Because your standards and what you what you idealize, what you think this person should think about you, feel about you, do about you, want about you, may not be the actual. That's all. Yeah. And for those same reasons, I am going to shame you. And for the and actually, it's not even me shaming you. If you feel the shame, that's on you. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I didn't create that feeling. In fact, if you feel ashamed of my me saying no, you're wrong. That's not right. You're thinking wrong and inappropriate. And then that's on you. If you feel shame or if you feel some type of way, that's not on me. How you feel about me or uh, what I say is not on me. That's on you. So you gonna hold that to you. What I'm gonna say is. You dead wrong, and you are literally showing how um, materialistic you are. Like for real, the same lady who was out here hollering, "Oh, because I not going to put on my, I have taken the time to get dressed so did he. I said I'm going to put on my makeup. He didn't ask you to do that, and my makeup costs. First of all, it costs. She mentioned Nars, the young lady we're talking about. First of all, that's not even the best foundation to begin with now nars is awesome i got some but it's not the best foundation it's not the most expensive foundation and you only get one point something ounces and the little bit of foundation that you about to put on your face to go on this date does not equal the entire bottle if it does you have a problem uh, <laughs> it does not equal the entire bottle so that value that 30 40 dollar value you can do the math and realize that 0. 0.00003 ounce that you put on your face to cover to go on this date equals nothing compared to a damn cheesecake factory meal. Okay. What I'm gonna say about the makeup, what I'm just gonna say about the makeup, I want women who do that. <laughs> Let's be real. Y'all are not me that are saying this. And the reason I say that is because y'all are not buying makeup for these dates. I'm not buying makeup for dates either. But what I'm saying is I don't have makeup in my in my work, really. I don't have makeup in my bathroom. I do not. I'm not a makeup girl. Y'all claiming this. I mean, and then I had to put my makeup on. You are putting your makeup on anyway. You put your makeup on every day, six days, five to six days, five to seven days out of the week anyway. Do not act like you just bought this makeup for this day because you did it. That, that is my one issue. Sorry, that that that's a nerve for me. No, no, no. I wish you and I felt the same thing. That's I was a like, nerve okay, for well, me. Don't wear it. That's a nerve. And then for me. the girl was like, oh, it's for you to take me to Starbucks. Well, if you feel that Starbucks is that much beneath you, but you still want to go on this date, don't put the makeup on. Don't that's one, two. On. He didn't ask you to put that damn makeup on. That was your decision. So what you're not about to do is guilt trip him because you decided to do something that you wanted to do. Hey, that you wanted to do. And because this is the other part, let's be real. Let's be real. When you met him, whether you met him out on the street, walking around with your feet beat, or y'all met on an online dating app where most of your pictures, you probably have your face beat and you're not on a date. So stop it. You put on makeup to go to work or you put on makeup to go out with your you friends. You put on makeup to go to brunch with your girlfriends. You do that. You put on makeup to go to the store. You put on makeup any other time and suddenly because you put on makeup, oh, oh because it's a guy on the other end of this, now it's some extra the value, value to it. Yeah. Girl's now you have to pay $150 on a meal for you because no. I put makeup on. If that's the case, just ask him for the money for the makeup. If that's how you feel. Because like... And now it's like forty something dollars Maybe. Pam McGrath is more. <laughs> it is. So is Gucci, Armani, and Dior. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and even with that, if you really buckle it down to how much makeup you're putting on per outing, 
baby. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's is going to outvalue the amount of makeup that you have on your face. That's one. Two. You didn't buy it just for this thing. That's my biggest issue with any of those women is you act like you went and bought this entire bottle for this one day with this guy. When yeah. he met you, more than likely you had makeup on because that's your lifestyle. You have a makeup, beat face, pretty girl vibes, whatever the, the terminology is these days. That's what you have. That's your lifestyle. Makeup is part of your lifestyle. And I am not knocking it because I have friends who makeup is their lifestyle. A part of it, not the whole no, I know people who will not leave the house without a face. Oh, no, that's not me. I <laughs> know. My best friend is that person. Will not leave the house without a face. And she would never do the um, the date, the first date has to be, as long as there's ambiance, as long as there's connection, as long as there's conversation, as long as there's a good vibe, as long as there's that and there's the ability to get to know this person, then it's a whole other thing. But a lot of you women are trying to date a wallet. You're not trying to date a man. That's the real. And Dude, that's please, real we are not saying this, that you have to devalue yourself. But if your value is of material, if you are equating your value to materialistic things, then maybe you shouldn't be dating anyway. You should be going to get some self-help. And that's all I got. Thing is, with that, if you are reducing your value to your physical, understand that the dude that you are about to go on a date with is going to do so as well. That's my only part. That's why do I do do I agree with it? Absolutely not. Do I think you should change it? Absolutely, I do. But you're an adult, and if that's the mindset that you have and you're okay with having, because there are whole prostitutes out here, there are whole only fan girls out here doing a whole lot of stuff. So if that's who you want to be. Be that, but be aware of what you're attracting in being that person. And keep your mouth shut and don't speak for all women. And don't be do that, that. And keep your mouth shut and don't speak for all women. That's all I got to say for real. Be that, but don't speak for all women. I agree. Correct. That and I on agree. that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll say cheers to that because I forgot my glass. Yeah, mine doesn't really do that thing. <laughs> So, y'all, this was a lot. I know. And we said we was going one way. We kind of went that way. But y'all know we're good for diversion. Like, digressions. I said diversion. I mean, that, that works to di divert to turn. Yes. Um, okay. Yes. Sure, we'll go with that, too. Um, so, we hope that... No, I don't even hope I didn't offend you. If you're offended, then, oh, well. Deal with your feelings. Um, <laughs> that's that's what I got. I'm I'm out here. What's her name? What's her name? Candace Owens. Ain't that her name? What about her? The little who? Do you ain't see the little thing on uh, social media when she went to some college because she's supposed to? Be, I think she's pregnant. And this guy or somebody or this girl was like, "How? What do you tell somebody? Um, because who feel offended?" Because you're here today talking. And she was like, honey, get over it. I'm too pregnant for that. <laughs> I was like, yes. She was talking about what, uh, what do you say to the people who you uh who you offend just by being on campus today um of the transgender community or some shit like that? And she was like, honey, get over it. Like, put your big girl draws on and move on. So what? I didn't ask you to come see me and I'm too pregnant to do that. I was like, and yes, finally, someone said it. I don't care. And that's what I'm saying at this point. Honey, if you don't like what we said, okay, go deal with your feelings. <laughs> Period. We don't like what you said or we don't like the fact that you agree with it. We're just voicing our side to let the world know, baby, I don't not like that I keep getting grouped with you hoes. That's my issue. I don't like that I keep having to be, and it's been my issue since I was a child. I'm tired of getting grouped with the ignorant. That, that has really been my pet peeve since I was a young, but a, but a young lie. I hate getting grouped with the ignorant. It's getting on my nerves. I'm tired of seeing dudes talk about, oh, a woman 30 plus is a red flag because it means she kept getting her back blown out in her 20s and this, that, and the third. Or it means her, or it means 
she was taking care of her mom who was sick. Or it means she was getting her master's and her bachelor's and she was trying not to be a gold digger because y'all jump on them. Or a hoe. Or it means she wasn't being a hoe. And because she wasn't being a hoe, dudes did not want to date her because she decided to be celibate. Or because she was making sound decisions about sound healthy decision in reference to her health because she knew that sleeping around won't it either. And because so many men require sex before marriage and definitely in a relationship, anytime it would come to that point, she'd be like, no. So maybe she's thir- single in her 30s because she's waiting until marriage. Maybe and she's they still marriage. exist. They do. They do. Please understand. Maybe she's single in her 30s because y'all kept telling her to choose better so that she didn't end up like all these single mothers y'all hate on. So she was choosing better and the choices were limited. <laughs> okay y'all needless to say sorry that was a nerve because i'm really tired of hearing that no 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 i i really understand I, and i'm married and i understand it because i even hear like some married men like high-fiving and i'm like wait a minute but you married that don't even apply but anyway tell me why you high five what about that makes sense to you as a married man tell me what about that makes sense to you because you clearly, are, when you were single, that was not your thought process. Because if it was, then you probably not out of ten wouldn't be with the woman that you with. If you are lucky to marry, meet your match in your twenties. I'm happy for you, please. I'm happy for you. The other thing, though, but don't shit. <laughs> what kills me is y'all are dudes in y'all thirties talking about. Oh, for women in her thirties, single, it's a problem. Who? Let, let's let's go back. Who was she dating? Let's go back. Right. Who is she marrying? If all of you men keep keep screaming, this is why men don't want to get married. Passport bros. We out of here. We out of here. We out of here. We don't deal with black women. We don't deal with black women. Don't get married in general. Marriage is a setup. This, that, and the third. If so many men are anti-relationships and anti-marriage, who are women marrying unless e- except each other? The same way if all of y'all are so mad about body count, high body count, she can't have a high body count. She should, every chick out here should be a virgin or I only sleep with two people. But all of y'all have thousand body counts plus or whatever who y'all sleeping with each other y'all the math ain't math okay and i say this to someone who loves math math is my best subject the math ain't math i need for y'all to shut up you got let's even say you got a hundred women and a hundred men and a hundred and eighty men are like yeah we never gonna get married you still have, and 20 women are like, we never going to get married. Well, that leaves 20 men and 80 women who want to get married. Somebody gets left out. And miss me with the sister wise crap, because don't even start that. Somebody's getting left out. And more than likely, it's going to be women. Because you have now, what, four times more women than you do men that want to get married? That's math, y'all. That's real math facts and figures. Okay, and again, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to say (laughs) cheers to that because clearly we can go on on this subject. Oh, I could go on and 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 on. I could hear Kabadu all day in here, okay? On and on and on. I could definitely. All right, so no, 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 okay. This is the Chianti by Tomaiolo. Reserva of Italy. It says our Reserva has a great depth of dark cherry fruit, chocolate, and earth flavors. It aged in Slavonian oak casks for one year and refined for a further period in the bottle. The long, spice, and fruity finish makes it perfect with pizza, pasta, as well as grilled meats and vegetables. I don't know if I, I don't really have any expectations for a Chianti because I don't really know what's the thing. It does taste like a heavy dinner wine. Um, there is a spice on it. I was wondering what that was. There is like a spicy hint to it um, in the middle, like right before the finish. It's probably like a medium to full-bodied wine. Uh, definitely a pretty dark berry color. I do taste the berries. I think the chocolate was, was getting me because I don't really like chocolate wine. So I, like it's just it's too much. Um, the earth flavors, I don't mind, but I think that is what gives it that root, and I think that is what gives it the little spice at the end. So it's not terrible. It's probably not something I would do on a regular. Like I, I would give it a two. Mm-hmm. 
And I will give mine as a question mark because I have tasted it. Um, but yeah, that's good. I will read the back. It says it is. Oh, and this is also, I forgot, 12.5% ABV. So this one is 14.5. So this one is nice. So a little bit of this goes a long way, according to this here box, which now definitely has me questioning my life decisions. Um, <laughs> uh, on the, oh, Jesus, this is tiny. It says, in a richly layered wine, you smell an intense bouquet and taste a, what? Yep, I don't know that word. Um, flavors that unfold on the palate with every sip. So it's Al Shiraz has layers upon layers of complexity and bold fruit flavors, aromas of fresh berries, baking spices. Ooh. Um, pay the way the mouth feels with flavors of blackberry, black cherry, and dark chocolate. So this sounds like something like maybe similar to what you have. So now. I'm curious, is the Shiraz great? And the Pianti. Pianti, is that a great or is it a derivative of one another or are they like cousins or sisters? They might be related. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. So that's interesting because it sounds like they kind of um made them very similar to one another. So Please, you'll have to stay tuned. So while we, while we talk about this at the wine out, um, to actually compare and to see what's what. Uh, I noticed that hers is corked, mine's is a screw top. So we'll see. I'm, in, I'm, I'm intrigued at this moment. I am very intrigued to see. I'm intrigued to see what these taste like. I am not a chocolate fan of wine either. Um, I don't even like dark chocolate, and this is dark chocolate. So that's even more like oh but you know us we're gonna pop grapes we're gonna taste and we're gonna give our honest um cheers to that wine review at the end so on that note ladies and gentlemen we'd like to thank you for joining us for this week's episode i know we were on a tangent the entire time but that's who we are be sure to like share and subscribe be sure to join us each and every week for more laughs more fun and of course more wine um we go out we go you can catch a new episode at 12 noon every wednesday we're right here live on youtube and instagram um every last saturday of the month for our wine out wine tastings be sure to follow us at als2wa on ig comment below let us know if you had either of these wines or if you just completely disagree with our conversation today and if you are offended you can let us know and please understand and disrespect will get blocked period poo and on that note always remember there's nothing wrong with the lips of wine or a lot <laughs> toodles y'all see y'all next week <laughs>